What would happen if they dropped one of them things? What do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I, I just got promoted from the mucking gang yesterday under this job. Believe me, I'm going up all right. If you drop some of them sticks of dynamite, you'll go up much faster. You all ready over there? Here she comes. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. You catch him, will you? You know, I got high blood pressure. I can't stand it. Oh, yeah? Well, catch him yourself. You'll never learn any younger. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Gosh, that was a close one, Johnny. What's the matter with you? You know the dynamite won't explode by just hitting the ground? Huh? Sure, look at here. Oh, wait! Here. What are you doing, wolfing again? Why, no, I'm just waiting for the powder truck. Go to the office and get your time. You're through. But, Mr. Sorensen, give me a chance. Don't I... talk back to me. You're through. What's the trouble here? He's no good. He's always open on a job, so I'm fired. That's not so, Mr. Denton. You've seen me around here a lot. You know I've always done my work. Go back to your job, Pete. Thanks. Listen here, Sorensen. You've been doing a lot of firing around here lately, and I don't want any more of it. We're shorthanded now and behind schedule. Need every man we can get. If you have any more trouble with Pete or with anyone else, you send them to me. I'll decide what to do. You understand? Yes. Good morning, Miss Ann. Good morning, Frank. Chief Engineer of the Evans Construction Company this fine day? Just right. Pretty busy, though. Keeping one eye on the workman and the other on the, uh, <laughs> the boss's daughter. Are you beginning that again? All right. Don't forget that little girl in Jepson's office. Jim Denton, if you go near her, I'll... <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> I'm awful sorry. I didn't mean that. I get along. Fine. You got enough powder here to dump this whole wall down into the lower strata. Well, that's what I want. Cut her about a three minute length. And I'll give you the signal when I get on top. All right. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. How's the water business? Fine, won't you? Yeah. Thanks. Here's a good luck charm I made for you out of a horseshoe nail. Mmm. Good work, son. That'll be something to remind me of you when you're gone. When I'm gone? Yeah. Where am I going? Back to school. Oh, what for, Dad? I can do any job around here. Saying, listen, I'll bet I could even hold your job down. Uh, uh, of course you can. But I've better plans for you. Oh, Dad. I'll uh, hurry up. There's a lot of thirsty men waiting for you. Yeah, I know. But you'll be sorry. You'll never find another water boy that works as hard as I do. <laughs> Go on, get out of here.
moments of getting, I didn't give any signal. Besides, that blast came from the upper strata. Johnny, get over there and hit that siren. Open up that door, Charlie. We gotta get that siren going. Hey, you fellas, come on, get over there, little trouble. Hurry it up. Come on. My dad was down there. Go ahead, I'll get the siren. Hey, fellas. Here's one of them. Ah! Well, it's speedy. Are you hurt? Are you sure you ain't hurt? Oh, no. It's just my high blood pressure. Oh, you couldn't kill him with a nag. Come on, come on, come on, that ambulance! It worked out all right, didn't it? Everything's all right. Get down and get the men stirred up for a walkout. Hurry up. All right. Come on with that! Hurry up, boys! Come on over there! Have you seen my dad? No, I didn't see him, Johnny. Well, where is he? I don't have any idea. Hey, come on, you fellas! Hurry up! Morgan! Wonder where Johnny is. I don't know, but I hope he doesn't see this. Hurry up, boys. Get him out of there and get him to the hospital. All right, take it easy. Wally, have you seen my father? Why, uh, no, Johnny. Uh, no. All right, thanks. Well, we got somebody over there. All right, the rest of you boys, get over there and help those other men out. Oh, dear, I wish things like this wouldn't happen. And this wasn't an accident. Why? Oh, we've had several mysterious blasts. Mr. Carson, have you seen my dad? Why, no, Johnny, I haven't. Take it down, everyone. Have you seen him? Yes, Johnny. Jim. <laughs> Things like this are tough, Johnny. We have to face them just the same. I know, Jim, but... But Dad was all I had. What am I going to do now? Well, I hadn't thought of that. I guess you can stay here until you go back to school. I can keep my job, can't I? Well, come to think of it, you can stay here right along with me, if you want to. Thanks, Chip. Well, how about it? Great. Everything's working out just as you planned. They're all coming in. Well, shall I stir them up and start to walk out? No, no, I don't want you to do that. You'll be more valuable right here in camp. But we've got to figure out some way to make him think that you're on his side. All right. Jim! Oh, Jim. The men are walking out, and Daddy wants to see if you can keep them on the job. Personally, I've had enough of these accidents. The next one might get me. Carson's right. It might be any one of us next. Let's get our money and get out of here. This is a murder camp. I'm with you, Sorensen. What do you say about it, fellas? 
Come on, then. Let's get going. Right, Wait a minute, Thornton. I don't think I want any of this. What a yellow. Oh, so you don't think you want any of this, huh? Well, now, listen. I got a family, and jobs ain't any too plentiful these days. Get out off of that truck. Get out! Just a minute. Get up out of there. No one's gonna hurt you. All right, get back to your work, man. Where are you going back? You're not gonna let a little accident scare you off a good job, are you? What are you trying to do, kid somebody? You know that was no accident. How's it you know so much about it? Well, I can use my own judgment, can I? Yeah. You can draw your paycheck, too, and get out of camp and stay out. Now go on. All right. Come on, fellas, let's get going. Oh, no, wait a minute, fellas. You can't walk out on me like this. I'm not going to walk out on you. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, open up. Give us our pay. Come on, I tell you. Make it out. Come on. I certainly appreciate your loyalty, and you won't lose anything by it. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. You can depend on us. All yeah, right. Jim. Get that equipment back in line. You, you might get some more men. You bet. Hey, hey, how about the three days hold back? There you are. Yeah, and don't forget my hold back either. That's right. Give me mine all in one chunk. Name? Give me mine. Frank McCarroll. Frank McCarroll. Yeah. Three days hold back. Right there. Norm Brown. Them yeah, three days. Three days are in there. No, no, no. Rod Williams, give me mine too. Hey. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Rod Williams, give me mine too. I wouldn't take this so hard, Mr. Evans. There's plenty of unemployed men. We'll put on new crews and work a double shift. I'm not so sure that we have the right to put on new crews until we get at the bottom of this. Jim, do you realize that we lost 10 men the past month and more than 30 injured? Yes, but you have a half a million of your own money in this job. If you don't finish it by the 1st of March, you stand to lose it all. I don't care, I will not risk innocent lives just to save a little money. No, Jim, we have got to find out about these accidents. Why should anyone deliberately try to wreck this project? I don't know, unless they're out to ruin you. Who handled the bonds on this job? Jepson, head of the Fruit Growers Association. You know it. Oh, yes. The man with the permanent smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now, you boys don't want to be upset by this newspaper trash. But if that dam isn't completed in time for the spring rains, our ranches are going to dry up and blow away. The old dam at least kept us going. Now you and the other bondholders didn't get excited. We're going to finish that dam on time. You know, we have a contract with Evans that protects us. He's personally responsible. He forfeits half his fortune if he fails to deliver by the 1st of March. But if we don't get water this summer, we're worse than broke. And without water for our crops, we won't be able to pay the interest on those bonds. Now, you boys don't think that I take advantage of you, do you? You know, I control that bond issue. If you can't pay the interest this year, well, all right, you can pay it next year. Good morning, Mr. Denton. You're quite a stranger. Morning. Is uh, Mr. Jepson in? There you go. All business. Couldn't you talk to poor little me? Would you mind telling Mr. Jepson that I'm here? Now, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Yes? Oh, Mr. Denton. Yes, I'll see him right away. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, you go ahead and pass the good word to your other bondholders. 
And don't forget, gentlemen, my door is always open to you. Thank you, Jim. Goodbye. Goodbye. I feel a little more satisfied now, Lee. Yes, sir. He's a mighty fine fellow. Whatever. Sit down, won't you? Thanks. Well, Denton, what about the walkout? Oh, I think we'll be able to handle it all right. Matter of fact, that's what I came to see you about. Yes? Yes, I was wondering if you knew anyone that might be interested in preventing the completion of the dam. Not. Now, whatever put such an idea into your head? Oh, just guessing. Who handled the bond issue on this job? The bonds are sold through this office. Tell them all? Most of them. Why? Suppose... Suppose someone held the majority of those bonds. He'd stand a good chance to grab up a lot of fruit land dirt cheap if the project failed, wouldn't he? You mean to insinuate? The shoe fits, wear it. You get out of this office before I have you thrown out. No, you weren't planning on doing that all by yourself, were you? For your information, Justin, that dam will be completed on schedule. The guard's the only good thing about you. The only way we can finish this job is to give those men protection day and night. Now, I've selected you men because I have complete confidence in each and every one of you. You all know we've had many accidents here lately, so-called accidents. Several men have been killed. I want you to know that yours is a dangerous assignment. It may mean your life. Are you willing to assume the responsibility? Uh, I am. Good. You'll all be assigned to definite positions. You'll take your orders from this office, from no one else. It looks like it was safe to get back on the job now. Yeah, that Lonnie patrol sure is a good idea. Yes, it is. Well, Move right in, boys. Hello, Mr. Carson. Coming back to work? Yes, sir, and I'm glad to get back, too. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, sir. Go try it up there, boys. Dad, I think it's marvelous the way our old men are coming back to work. Yes, the work's certainly humming along now, all right. And the men are coming back by truckloads. I wish I could help you and Jim. There's so much to be done. That idea will manage all right. But Jim out there, he's a natural born fighter. Let's keep moving along. Dad, I've just thought of a way that I can help. Really? Oh, Jim, you're just in time. Well, what's up? I have a marvelous idea. But I'll give it to you on the one condition that you let me operate it. Well, come, come, young lady. What is this big idea? Well, this new patrol that Jim has organized have definite stations, haven't they? Yes. Well, why can't we keep in constant touch with them by radio, just like the police do? Say, that's a good idea. Might save us a lot of trouble. Of course it will. And if the police can do it in town, why can't we do it out here? Jim, look into this matter. See what it'll cost to install such a system. I will, Mr. Evans. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Jack. Hungry? You look fast. Cheers, boy. The cook said he put some mighty fine pie in the lunches yesterday. How about it, Johnny? Well, 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 how would I know? I only work here. Uh, here's your lunch.
Well, see what we have today. All right, Petey, how's everything? Hello, Joe. Our uh, supplies for the good old Evans Construction Company. Advance, friend. Station number six calling. Station number six calling. Uh, truck number 77, Joe Harris, driver, just passed through the loaded supplies. Okay, station number six. Wait a minute, let me talk Speedy. I'm glad to see you're on the job. You know, you're guarding the most vital point in our whole road system. <clears throat> why, listen. Listen, Jim, when they find out that Speedy's guarding this tunnel, why, they wouldn't dare to try to pass through here. <laughs> why, if they did, I'd... I'd... Oh. You know, your idea of installing this radio system was a marvelous idea. It's a rare combination, beauty and brains. Oh, Jim. Hold it just a minute while I find out. Eight number six calling. Uh, Sorensen and some of his men are here. Turn him back, Speedy. I don't want to see Sorensen or any of his friends. Hey, Speedy! Speedy! Can you hear me? Speedy! You stand by for a call, Ann. I'm going down to see if Speedy needs any help. Get that gate open, Red. I'm coming out in a hurry. Hello, Speedy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Right there, as good a place as any. How long a fuse you want on that? Oh, give us about six feet. That ought to get us over the hill before she goes. All right. Go ahead, Captain. and his gang. Which way'd they go? We went through the tunnel there. Oh, a whole gang of them. Get me out of this. Come on, I got to tell All right, boys, get in the car. Hurry up and light that cute, Frank. Back up the first bridge and turn around and get out of here. Did I get it? Get what? Did I get it? The fuse. I'll say you did.
Sweetwater, 36W. Mr. Jepson's office. Hello, Betty. I want you to tell Mr. Jepson that the first consignment of electrical equipment has arrived. All right, Wally, I'll tell him. The first part of the equipment has arrived at Stan. The first part? Well, I think that's going to be the last part. By the way, didn't you say something about inviting Denton up to my house for the celebration this evening? Yes, may I? Do you think you could get him to accept? Hey, what do you think? Call him. The Evans Construction Company, please. Okay, Station 10. Evans Construction Company. Mr. Danton, please. It's for you. Personal message. Hello, this is Danton speaking. Oh, Mr. Danton, I have the grandest surprise for you. Mr. Jepson is giving a party. No, tell Mr. Jepson I'm very sorry. I won't be able to attend this party. What's that? He hung up. The big stiff. Uh, huh? boys. Now spread out along here and be sure to knock off those guards. I'll take that first guard and driver. All right, get going. Spread out. by a big bunch of bandits and they're shooting with real guns and everything and they're fighting and they're fighting and you've got to send some help or somebody's going to get hurt. I'm going down to see what the trouble is. Come on, boy. Calling all guards. Calling all guards. Go to Cold Water Canyon, section 40 immediately. Our trucks are being attacked by bandits. Dunny, you better go back to camp. There's no place for you where I'm going. Yeah, well, I'm going with you anyhow. Come on, come on, get that stuff in and let's get these fires going. Come on with that gasoline, Flynn, let's get this fire started. Before they get that radio going.
All right, Jim? Yeah, I'm all right. Hadn't we better get after the rest of the gang? No, we got the ringleader here, and besides, we have to get that electrical equipment into camp before dark. Come on, Sorensen, you're going to town. No, take him back into camp. I want to have a little talk with this gentleman. Get going. Now listen, Sorson, for the last time, will you talk or not? You haven't pulled all this just because I fired you off the job. Somebody's paying you. Who is it? I tell you, I don't know what you're talking about. Come in. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I hope I'm not intruding. Not at all, Jepson. I had a few little matters I wanted to discuss with you, but they can wait until you're through here. Very well. You work this alone, then you're responsible for Morgan's death. You can't blame me for that. The explosion was an accident. Well, you'll have a chance to prove that to a jury. I think I'll lock you up here overnight. All right, suit yourself. Bring him along. All right, come on, get going. Well, I hope that the capture of Sorensen will prove an end to your troubles. He's only a hireling. I'll never rest until I find who's behind him. Now, if I can be of any assistance, financial or otherwise... I shall require nothing of you, Mr. Jepson, except the full amount due on my contract, March 1st. Before the 1st of March, my dear Mr. Evans, if your project is completed then. Good night. Good night. Better think it over, Sorensen. Pete, you stand guard here until midnight. Jack will relieve you. Uh -huh. And don't forget, you'll be here at 12. All right, Pete. I'll be here. Well, I think Sorensen will be ready to talk in the morning after having a taste of being locked up overnight. Well, I sincerely hope so. You folks ready to go home? Oh, you two run along. I'll join you presently. All right. Thanks, Never mind the thing. Car's over here. Now get up here in the front seat with me. I'm sorry I fell down on destroying that electrical equipment. The bungling's gone far enough, Sorensen. The worst got to stop or we have to blow up the dam. What do you mean, blow up the dam? Well, why not? You know very well I'm not interested in the dam. Never have been. Fruitland is what I'm after. Oh, I see. That's what you've been paying me for. If they don't get the water, they can't pay the interest, and you get the fruitland. Hmm. I get the fruitland is right. 
I'll certainly be glad when this project's finished. I hardly ever see you anymore. Oh, I know you feel as though I've been neglecting you, but this has been an awfully big job. Matter of fact, it's the biggest one I've ever handled. And I do want to make good. Not only for myself and your dad, but, well, for you. I know you do, darling. And you will, too. Uh, help! Help! That sounds like Daddy's voice. Help! Someone struck me over the head. Whoever it was, probably killed that guard. <laughs> oh, let's get him out of the office. <laughs> you know, Sorensen, I'm getting more worried about this fellow Denton every day. First thing you know, he's going to pin Morgan's death on you. Ah, uh, how can he pin it on me? It was an explosion and an accident. That's all there is to it. Yes, I know, but he's pretty smart. I think we'll have to figure out some way of eliminating that boy. In a nice way, I mean. Here. Get some water, Wally. Sure. Calling all guard posts. Calling all guard posts. Hurry up now and get out. Won't do for any of your men to see us together. Why, you a murderer? You're the one that killed my dad, and I know who saved you to do it. Let me go. Shut up, or I'll break your neck. Ow, ow, my arm. Break my arm. Ah, shut up, or I'll break your jaw. Take it in the house and tie him up in that back room. Calling all guard posts. Be sure and keep floodlights on the road. Watch for truck of electrical equipment missing from convoy. Evans Construction Company. Yeah, Denton? Here, Jim. Hello? Yes, it's Denton speaking. Well, is the Simpson Ranch. We picked up a young boy out here by the name of Morgan, pretty badly hurt. Yeah, keeps calling for you all the time. Yeah. All right, Mr. Denton, I'll be waiting up for you. All right, I'll be right over. Thanks very much. It's been an accident. I bet he got caught in that ambush. I told him to keep out of it and go on back to camp. Was he over there? Sure, he followed me down there. Well, that's just what happened to him. What'd I tell you? I still don't see why you're doing it. Don't make sense to me. He's coming for the kid, ain't he? Yeah. We want to get him away from that dam till we finish our job, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, don't be so dumb. Take him up, then. Get that hold you for a while.
Hello? Hello. Is this the Jepson residence? I want to speak to Mr. Jepson. This is Mr. Sorensen talking. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot disturb Mr. Jepson. He's having a party tonight. I don't care if he's having kittens. This is important. I want to speak to Mr. Jepson. Very well. I'll tell him you're calling. Hold the wire, please. Well, gentlemen, are you enjoying yourselves? Yes, sir. Good. I needn't ask you. <laughs> Be pardon, sir. You're wanted on the telephone, Mr. Jetson. Telephone? I'm not expecting any calls. But he says it's very important, sir. Very well. You pardon me just a moment? Just a moment. Oh, Sorensen. Now, what do you mean by calling me at the house? I told you. Hey, I got good news for you. Yeah, we're sitting on top of the world. I got both Denton and the Morgan kid tied up here at the ranch. Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. Fine, fine. That fits right in with my plan. Now, listen. There's a truckload of electrical equipment that's going to leave town before dawn. What am I going to do with a truck? Did you ever hear of the Trojan War Horse? A what? Oh, I see. Say, that's a swell idea. Wally's going to have all the men you need at the powder house. Well, listen. Once I get through that guard, I'll blow that damn plum off of the map. And Sorensen. No bungling. Because I'm going to be there at daylight to see that we don't miss this time. All right. We'll be leaving right away. And we won't miss. Go along. Well, darling, you almost missed this one. Well, I'm not very far behind you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me propose a toast. To the completion of our new dance. Come on, get in here. I'm going to take this truck. You drive, Floyd. Okay. Why don't we take that in the car? We can make time with it. In a matter of making time, this truck fits in with my plan. Pile in here. Okay. You get in the back end. Okay. Station 14 calling. Truckload of electrical equipment coming through. All right, let him pass. Okay, go ahead. Anna, 
I guess it's time for you to relieve me now, isn't it? Yes, Wally, I'll take charge. Thank you. Down too early. Well, you see, Miss Evans. Station 14 calling. Station 14 calling. Denton and the Morgan boy in a car are being pursued by bandits. We're shooting at them. Calling all guard posts. Calling all guard posts. Miss Evans, you're not sending any more messages over that radio. When stepping over there, please. If you please. And don't attempt to leave the room. no more. Let's put the handcuffs on him. Don't let him get away, Red. He may be one of the gang. All right, hold him. Put that powder down. Put it down. Get around there. Thank you. 
Ah, come on, come on. All right, hold it. Wait a minute. Hey, Speedy, keep your eye on him. I'll tell Mr. Evans what happened, will you? Oh, will I? All right, now watch him. Well, you've got to take these things off at once. You haven't any right to do this. Oh, yes, we have. You're the one that's been causing all this trouble. And you and Sorensen murdered my dad. Jim and I heard him planning all this last night. But I'll get even with you. Let go of me. 